stage, nine weeks, the stomach is producing its own digestive juices and the heart has started its vigorous pumping. We now call it not an embryo, but a fetus. But the name change doesn't mean its future is any more assured. The risk of failure still accompanies each new development. Footprints and palm prints are engraved. All the time, the work is fueled by the supply line, the umbilical cord linking the fetus to the mother. Now, a crucial stage of pregnancy is over. The fetus has managed to complete the basic structures of its body. It has taken 12 weeks. For the rest of pregnancy, it will be chiefly devoted to getting bigger. And it must get a very great deal bigger, because the scale of these pictures is deceptive. And those to whom knowledge has come, see that the revelation sent down to you from your Lord, that is the truth, and that it guides to the path of the exalted in might, worthy of all praise. The Noble Quran, chapter 34, verse 6. The Quran calls people to worship only one God, the creator of everything. Say, He is Allah, the one and only. Allah, the Eternal, Absolute, He begets not, nor is He begotten, and there is none like unto Him. The Qur'an is a book of guidance, and not a book of science. It is just a proof that it was revealed from the one Creator who knows everything about us. We will soon show them our signs in the universe and in their own souls, until it will become quite clear to them that it is the truth. Is it not sufficient as regards your Lord that he is a witness over all things? The Noble Quran, chapter 41, verses 53. The Quran mentioned many scientific facts, like the origin of the universe and how it came into existence. This included facts related to how it began and facts related to how it will end. Like the theory of the Big Bang, for example, and that everything came into existence after it, and our Earth was one of these structures that were formed from this Big Bang. Such kinds of theories were way beyond our reach 1400 years ago, and it is only now that science has begun to unravel some of the facts surrounding the creation of the universe. However, the Qur'an mentioned that our earth was part of the skies and then became separated from it. Allah says in the Qur'an, Have not those who disbelieve known that the heavens and the earth were joined together as one united piece, then we parted them? And we have made from water every living thing. Will they not then believe? The Noble Quran, chapter 21, verse 30. And the Quran mentioned that our space is expanding. That's because after the Big Bang, every planet and star is moving away from each other. Allah says in the Quran, With power did we construct the heaven. Verily, we are able to extend the vastness of space thereof. The Noble Quran, chapter 51, verses 47. And the Quran mentioned that all the planets are running in an orbit and the sun is running to its resting place. 
that resting place is the translation of the Arabic word mustaqar, which indicates an exact appointed place and fixed time. According to modern astronomy, the solar system is indeed moving in space at a rate of 12 miles per second towards a point situated in the constellation of Hercules Alpha Lyres, whose exact location has been precisely calculated. Astronomers have named that mustaqar the solar apex. Allah says in the Quran, And the sun runs on its fixed course for a term appointed. That is the decree of the Almighty, the All-Knowing. The Noble Quran, chapter 36, verses 38. And that our universe will end by rolling together like sheets or records. Allah says in the Quran, And remember the day when we shall roll up the heavens like a scroll rolled up for books. As we began the first creation, we shall repeat it. It is a promise binding upon us. Truly, we shall do it. The Noble Quran, chapter 21, verses 104. And the last scientific fact we want to present to you is regarding the fingertips of the human being. The Quran mentioned that every human has a unique fingerprint, and it is used as a very important method of identification around the world. But what is even more amazing is this feature of the fingerprint was only discovered in the late 19th century. Before then, people regarded the fingerprints as ordinary codes without any specific importance or meaning. However, in the Quran, God points to the fingertips, which did not attract anyone's attention at that time. And he drew our attention to this important matter, which has now only been understood in our age. Allah says in the Quran, does man, a disbeliever, think that we shall not assemble his bones? Yes, we are able to put together in perfect order the tips of his fingers. The Noble Quran, chapter 75, verses 3 and 4. There are still many scientific facts in the Quran for any knowledgeable individual or scientist to explore, like it says in the Quran. And those to whom knowledge has come, see that the revelation sent down to thee from thy Lord, that is the truth, and that it guides to the path of the exalted in might, worthy of all praise. The Noble Quran, chapter 34, verses 6.